In a world of n number of motorcycles, there are few who have attained a cult status. One of them is this hooligan, the Triumph Street Triple R. And with his 2020 avatar, it is more well-mannered and tractable. You must have came across automotive journalists, enthusiasts hailing praises for this beast. Well, it deserves all of it. The liquid-cooled inline three-cylinder engine produces 118 PS of peak power and 79 Nm of torque. The engine has a DOHC setup and it is worth noting that this same engine is being used in Moto2 bikes. Yeah, the mental and blazingly fast Moto2 bikes, but certainly those engines are heavily tuned for it. This new engine is now BS6 compliant and it has got 6 speed gearbox with slip and assist clutch which allows you to downshift without worrying about rear wheel getting locked or hop because of engine braking. And it also comes equipped with new Triumph Quick Shifter which allows you to up and downshift while maintaining the same accelerator position. Here the fuel delivery system is taken care of by a multi-point sequential electronic fuel injection with electronic throttle control aka ride-by-wire which ensures accurate fueling and throttle response. It has got a 17.4 litre of fuel tank and as per company's claim of a mileage figure of 19 to 20 km per litre, you are looking at a tank range of around 300 to 350 km which is not very good but also not very bad. The exhaust system is a 3 into 1 low single sided stainless steel silencer which is not loud at lower RPMs but rev it higher and you will be surprised by how beautiful it sounds. The swing arm is a twin sided cast aluminium alloy and the bike runs on 17 inch front and rear wheel. It has got a Showa 41mm upside down separate function big piston forks at front with adjustable compression damping, rebound damping and preload adjustment. The rear suspension also has a Showa piggyback reservoir monoshock with adjustable compression and rebound damping and preload adjustment. The braking department here has also seen an improvement over its predecessor. This time it has got twin 310mm floating disc with Brembo M432's 4 cylinder radial monoblock calipers at front and on the rear side it has got single 220mm disc with Brembo single piston caliper. It is also worth noting that the brake and the clutch lever are adjustable and you can adjust it as per your requirement. It has got Pirelli road focused all weather Diablo Rosso 3 tires which are long lasting and provide essential grip and stability around the corner. On the front it has got 120 by 70 section tire and at the rear it has got 180 by 55 section tire. The bike comes equipped with ABS and traction control system as standard and it has also got 3 riding modes that are rain, road and sport which ensures that you get extra control by altering throttle response and traction control setting to suit individual riding style. The instrument console has been retained from the older street triples and it provides you with the ample amount of information that are needed. Like it has digital speedometer, fuel gauge, trip computer, analog tachometer, a lap timer, gear position indicator, programmable gear change lights, a clock. It is also worth noting that it is TPMS ready. That means you can fit a tire pressure monitoring system with this bike. And yeah, it is worth noting that it has also got a rider programmable riding mode in which you can set the ABS on road, track and also you can turn it off as well. The same applies for traction control system but it has got three modes that is rain, road, track as well as you can also turn the traction control system completely off. With the help of the I button you can toggle between the lap timer, the trip meters, the average fuel consumption as well as the odometer and with the help of the mode button you can toggle between the three riding modes. The seat height is at 825 mm which shorter rider may find difficult to plant their feet down. But once you hop on it, you won't feel like you're sitting on a middleweight naked sports bike.
courtesy its 168 kg dry weight and if you still think that this seat height is out of your reach then there is also a low ride height version of 780 mm available which is a good 45 mm lower than the original one this is achieved by a dedicated suspension setup and revised seat construction i know this i should have talked at first but the main striking difference between the old street triple and the new are the new twin led headlamps which i feel are great looking and this new shape and aggressive new styling just adds character to this bike so that's it from this video and i would be discussing on more aspects of this bike plus its ownership experience and service cost in my upcoming videos So friends if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel then please subscribe to it and hit that bell icon also so that you don't miss out on any informative content till then goodbye and take care